So, I made this dice in grade 10 in the uh, automotive class or auto mech or mechanics or whatever you like to call it. And this was an extra in that class. Well, the whole entire class did it. It was part of the curriculum, but it was the extra, like the bonus piece. So this is, well, it used to be eighth of an inch black metal. You're not metal, that's bluish black before you grind it off and it turns this color. So it once was eighth of an inch and then I grinded it a whole lot, melted all that shit off, and now it's sixteenth of an inch, I should say. So anyways, I did that on purpose to make it lighter and whatnot, but here's the how-to to make a dice. You need a two inch, eighth of an inch black metal or steel, or whatever kind of metal you want to use. And you cut them two inch legs, two inch squares, like this you see. Then you would drill your holes, and how you do that is you go, or well you make lines on here so you can mark your holes, and you go from corner to corner to get your center, and since it's two inches, you measure from one end, half an inch in, and that will give you um, a mark, and then you do the same thing on the other side, and then you draw a line, and you get your uh, marks to make a four, make four holes for a dice. And then you do the same thing, you know, all around, all these squares is half inch, and then you go from one end, or the bottom, to the middle, which is an inch, and draw a line, and that gives you like a grid, and then you can make your six, your nine, your five, your four, anything with that grid. And my only mistake, if I can find it, is, well, right there. That little bubble is my only mistake on this dice. And I got 59 out of 60 in the class. And that was the highest mark given in the history of this project for that school. So, after you're done marking with, you know, like a permanent marker or a pencil or whatever, you get a punch. Pretend this is a punch. You'd line it up on your line. And then you'd hit the top of it with a hammer and that kind of puts a little indent in your metal and that way when you drill it with a drill bit I used a quarter inch drill bit it would um, well the drill bit wouldn't slip around and drill a hole where you didn't want it it would stay exactly where you put a mark once you're done drilling your holes so you got six pieces you would join them together like this you know 90 degrees and then you would weld them doesn't matter how shitty your weld turns as long as it's a good penetrating weld and doesn't leave bubbles. So you join sides 3 and 5, 2 and 6, and 4 and 1. And then once you're done welding that, you don't grind anything off yet. Say you got side 5 on the bottom and side 3 on the right. You get your 1 and 4 welded together piece and you'd put 1 on the front and 4 on the left and then you'd get your two and six piece and you would put two on the top and six on the back and that would give you this perfect dice took me a while to figure that out after you've done that you make a few tack welds so nothing you know goes out of square you weld all the way around you cool it off after it's all cooled off you get one of those grinder blades you know one of those really thick ones and you grind off your welds. Now you don't round your corners. You want them nice and sharp. And then after that, after you're done welding all that off and think you got it good, looking like that, you get one of those sandpaper grinding wheels, you know, a coarse one first to get all, all you know all the imperfections out. And then you get one of those really fine ones. I only used a hundred grit. That's why you can see all the little scratch marks. For the best result you'd get a finer one. You would start out coarse to get up to get the imperfections out and then you'd move to fine. So once you think you got it done with you know those sandpaper grinding wheels a coarse one then a fine one you think you got it as smooth as a look as you can get it you take it over to one of those buffing wheels. You know you got one here and you got one here things that spin with the switch things you mount on a work table and then you put some wax on it doesn't really matter what kind of wax there's different kinds you can look them up you can go to Home Depot whatever you get wax you put it on the wheel while it's spinning 
and then you take your dice and you would go you know you can go hard at first and then lightly and different methods but what I did was just this going at a you know a moderate tension kind of thing and just going like that back and forth on the grinding wheel this once was shiny that you could see yourself I think my number one side was the best I used to be able to see my pupils in my eyes but it scuffed up from pink fingerprints and whatnot how to make a dice from eighth of an inch metal if you're confused just send me a message or you know, whatever watch this video again maybe pause pause where the paper is so you can read it